What's up, everybody? It's Easy. Wanna where the hell Easy's been? Been busy. Started a new business, doing online stuff now, which is good. It's gonna give me more time here. This video here, let's just get right into it, and we'll we'll talk about all that other stuff later on. Uh, we're gonna break down two different two different attacks. Got to know these two attacks to be to be successful in Town Hall Nine. There's really three, but we're gonna just cover two of them right here. Because these videos are real short now. This is like a five minute video, so we're gonna kind of blast right through it. This right here is Golaloon. So, this is a, all, all, all these attacks were actually done by Creeper on one, which one of his accounts. Won't tell you how many stars he got over 30 this time. <laughs> I'm really grateful that his kids quit playing and that he uh, manages to get the accounts for the kids because he knows they're gonna start playing again any day now. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, Golaloon. Let's just say that you want to you want to do it just like he does. Starts off with two golem, puts the two golem on the. And first thing you have to do, you got to pull the clan castle troops. So dedicate a couple balloons, dedicate some hog riders, dedicate five of them if you have to. Dedicate five of them in a spell if you have to. Get the get those troops over into the, into the trigger zone. Get the clan castle troops out. Kill the clan castle troops. Once the clan castle troops are dead, then you can start your attack. You put the golems in. Uh, put wizards in behind the golems. It's best to try to break the outer wall with wall breakers. A lot of people bring five, six wall breakers. I like to bring four because uh, max wall breakers in Town Hall 9, two of them will break open that Town Hall 8 wall. I think it takes three to get the Town Hall 9 walls. A lot of times I'll try to time it and use a rage spell and use the wall breakers at the same time. And I'm telling you, I'll fast forward through the back halves of these attacks. It's going to be a quick video. Uh, before we go any further, I, I actually looked at that base and then did a double check on it. Don't, I mean, if you're still making these bases, you've got to find another game because you suck for this, whoever this guy was. Uh, so get right into the second attack. He starts off the same way. So this, I believe that it was really hard to pull the clan castle troops. So instead of actually pulling the troops, he's going to he's going to attack the troops in mid attack. So we have two different looks at, at, at dealing with the clan castle troops. Uh, still use two golem, use bowlers in the clan castle, puts in wizards behind the, the golem. Uh, here come the clan castle troops now if you notice he's got two tanks out front He's got bowlers that are just plowing through everything. He's got his wizards that, that that's gonna actually take care of the clan castle troops got the queen in there and uh, So that's the kill squad the go golems wizards bowlers in the clan castle king queen take out the clan castle troops kill them You got to kill the enemy archer queen. It's a must those two things you've got to do and then you start off with your with the the Laloon part of the raid you're trying to get trying to get two air defenses if you can but if you can't then just be really strategic when you're putting in the, the lava hounds and the balloons you want you don't really want to start with a big giant cluster of, of balloons 30 balloons in one corner you want to put in uh, at least one sometimes two lava hounds on each of the two starting air defenses and then put in like seven six or seven uh, balloons following those lava hounds in uh, follow them up with a haste spell that will get them over that first air defense and then kind of just fall, watch where they go and follow them around the base with the rest of the balloons. Follow them clockwise, counterclockwise. It's this, this isn't a guide, this is a brief look. <laughs> this is, this, this clan had a bunch of engineered uh, bases, but these bases don't help you. They may have, now their troops on the other hand were pretty mighty. Considering this guy right here was number 12 and he could have attacked her number 1 with the, with the troops. But the bases were, he could have attacked this from the air, from the ground, but he decided to use the, uh, the hog riders. Starting off very similar. Start, uh, starting off with some st strong ground troops to break open the base. Uh, instead of using the golem, he uses Pekka. And uh, used bowlers in the clan castle again. And if you saw at the very beginning, he actually started off with a couple of baby dragons just to, because there was some undefended uh, stuff he could take from the air. And one of the biggest mistakes, now the, the first two parts of, of a hog rider raid is just like the Laloon. You, you've got to take out the clan castle troops, you've got to uh, take out the archer queen. 
Um, with hog riders, the king is also important. It's also important to try to trigger those those giant bombs still, even though they don't do times one and a half damage. And um, if the base looks like it's pretty, they, they have a, a, a dominant uh, Tesla farm, you want to try to handle that with your kill squad if you can. So these are all things you're, t you're dealing with in, in the pre in the pre attack uh, while you're scouting. And then your biggest decision is how you're going to attack with the hog riders. You're going to come in three or four at a time on each defense. You're going to come in with a big giant cluster. So that things to think about. These two raids you've got to master at Town Hall Nine. Got to. So start doing them now if you haven't done them before. So Easy's now an official student of the internet. Things are going to start looking a little different around here in the videos on the website. So go check out the website. Sub to the channel, guys. Really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. It's been Easy. Take care.